This is Mike Hurst at Highland Hill Farm. He's our field manager for growing operations. He's in charge of growing green giant arborvitas, and currently he's growing about 25,000 of them on Highland Hill Farm in Bucks County, PA. And here's how he does it. All right, these are our cuttings. We're going to pull this out of here to see how they did. I think they did fairly well. Everything else that we had came out did pretty well. And there's our bunches of cuttings. We'll throw that over there. We don't need that. And then we'll separate out these guys, try to pull them out without breaking the branches or anything like that. We might just want to shake it a little bit so we can get some plants with cuttings with roots on it. Well, here's our cutting. We just take our cutting ever so gently. Put it into the container. We'll use our hand like a big scoop and just scoop up some dirt. Into the container. Tap it down very gently and that is basically our cutting and now in a cork container. Everybody notices right off the bat that there's this white on it. That is not mildew. That is actually a calcium buildup or calcium deposit from our water system. Alright, there's our cutting again. A good old root system on it. Put it in there. Now these cuttings that we have, these are from a green giant arborvita. Michael, how fast do green giants actually grow for customers that buy them from us? The first year you plant them, they usually go in the transplant shop. They have to get the roots readjusted and growing before the shoots start to grow. The first year, if you're doing well, and you plant in the spring, and you get 10, 12 inches of growth, you're doing pretty well. After the first year is when they start to grow really fast, especially if you have them in full sun, you water them, and you put fertilizer on them, they should grow really fast. Some of our trees can grow three to four foot per year, but that's why we have to go through and prune them because they grow too fast and they become thin, spindly. So we'll usually knock back maybe six to eight inches of growth if they grow three to four feet in a year, just to make them a little bit thicker. This is a Princeton type planter that we use at Highland Hill Farm to plant green giants. It can plant upwards to 3,000 green giants a day. These are one gallon green giants that have been grown in pots for about a year and they're ready to put into the ground. With this planter it makes planting easy. The only thing you might have to do afterwards is there'll be a few trees in the rows that aren't straight. And what we do there is we straighten them just by kicking them in with our foot and if that doesn't work then we use stakes. Small bamboo stakes, eighth inch bamboo rods. This is our stake and this is the thick side so this is going to go down in the ground. Now one of the things we want to do is we want to put the stake on the opposite side of the tree that it's leaning to and we force it into the ground until it's firmly in the ground. Now we take a little bit of tying tape and you want to watch out that you don't jab your eye with this the stake could get your eye. Now I'm not going to tie it down here because it's too low and the tree will bend over like that. But I'm going to tie it more right up in here. And when I tie it, I'm not going to tie it real snug and firm up against the stake. I want to have some free play here so that the tree has room to grow. And I want to make sure that the tying tape can't fall down so it's going to be near a branch. So now I'm going to give some free play here. Now what I do is I tie it once to a point where it has free play and then I tie a knot in it. And that's all you have to do just to get this green giant to grow true and straight. It will straighten out on its own and be fine.
good. Okay, again, we're going to put the thick end of the stake in the ground on the opposite side the way the tree is bending. We'll pull the tree up. And sometimes you can also help it by pushing in with your foot. And we're going to tie it right about here. Not too far down, not too far up. And we're going to make sure we have some free play for this tree on the tying. Once, twice. Now you can see the free play there. That's what we want. And that tree is staked. Okay. This is a green giant arborvita. I'm going to trim this tree today to show you how I do trimming of green giant arborvitas. First thing we do is we usually use a hand, hand shear. I like hand shears. And I come in through the side and I just trim it back on the side a little bit. And then I work my way up towards the top. And top's probably the most important. And I trim it just like that. And basically that's all I really need to do. I'll still have to go around the tree, but that's how I kind of like the tree to be looking when I get finished with it. You can see there's a whole bunch of them that I did already. And you just trim them up a little bit, make them more uniform. Make sure there's one leader growing on and you should be good to go. Goal at Highland Hill Farm is to be able to dig ball and burlap, green giant arborvitas that are number one quality. We start our digging with four to five foot trees, five to six, all the way up to 10 to 12 foot trees. These are usually available at Highland Hill Farm for pickup from March till late November each year. We dig thousands of trees, so don't hesitate to call. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.